Somebody has some questions, first on Mikhail, but uh, also for uh, the two other colleagues, uh, Mr. Fancy and Sarah. Do you have any questions, please? So everything was very clear. Uh, Mikhail, for me, I have a question. I mean, yeah, it's very impressive what you described to us. Mm -hmm. More or less, we know some ideas. But now we see some uh, products. So do you sell these products? You have some turnover, expected turnover? or we Just are, give us some questions. figures, please. So uh, right now, we are around one, one million euros. So we, we, this is the first year. In, in fact, in the past, we saw more than two millions, but split in different years. So uh, different, different time. But right now, l last year, we saw more than one million euros. But the most important thing is we, sign a, we have signed agreements that we will multiply so by a two factor every year so we have already committed something like almost two years this this two millions this this year and then four millions and then so uh it's a reality so uh right now for us uh, i mean there are a lot of things to do of course behind all of that but 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 uh, uh, we, we 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 receive a lot of inquiries every day by email so uh um, basically, 55% so well. from the States and Canada, and some from Korea, um, Germany, and um, the UK, especially the UK, because we, we are mainly focused on, on, on prevention. Prevention is a new trend in, in within the, the... Short question about that. Why? They have different demands, these people, or is different the market? Why? In so the there are more demands 55. here for, for medical devices, but it takes more time. But for wellness and fitness, uh, I think that, that they spend more money. They, they spend more money. They, they, they are more, let's say, close to really put thousands of euros on, on making it real. With, mm. with them more, in my opinion. We just, oh, this is, uh, mm. Because we can, we can make prototypes in three months, very close to the product for less than in between 10,000 and 20,000 euros. We, a complete ecosystem, including sensor, uh, hardware, and even the cloud service. So, and then uh, they, they move more, more faster than, they move faster than us in, 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 in decision uh, process. Uh, this is at least our experience. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. So you, if you have further questions, I have to leave. You can ask to my colleague yeah. there, Isabel. Is there? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much Thank for you. coming. And way. Some other questions for Sarah? Or yes, please. Uh, just for wait for uh, the microphone. To who is addressed? Thank you. Uh, my name is Guillaume Carl. I'm working for Pontorel. We are a Spanish uh, carpet. Uh, supplier for automotive business. My question is quite similar as the one you, you asked uh, previously. It will be for uh, Miss, uh, Miss Cassini. I would like to have uh, some figures about what represent more or less the uh, your turnover for the, the acoustic and uh, acoustic product that you are selling. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, actually uh, the company, uh, the turnover is about uh, 16 million euro and uh, more or less 10% of our uh, uh, of our selling are in insulation markets uh, main and main are for acoustical applications uh, then we have even uh, other articles for uh, thermic application but acoustic textile in acoustics are very uh, has a very positive impact so uh, and uh, and the selling are, are increasing Sarah, I have also another question about that. Yes, this, uh, according to me, this is technical textiles. What do, why you uh, put them in the section of smart textiles? Do you have some smartness inside? Or, uh, because I, I was thinking when uh, you were talking about that maybe we can make this kind of panels, adapt it according to some uh, conditions so they can absorb or uh, augment or uh, increase the, the sound maybe M this is uh, I can think that we can do this uh, with uh, some uh, special fibers yes uh, the, the main problem uh, when we go to the market 
is price. Yes, that's so, true. Uh, we, have, um, we present to the market sometimes uh, a new, uh, um, new products with new uh, fu functions, but uh, uh, the, the price in building markets, uh, unfortunately, is very important. But anyway, with the project, uh, we try to uh, we'll investigate even the use of uh, nanofibers to understand, uh, first of all, if it's possible the uh, industrial application on nanofiber layers on our products. Mm. And uh, if it will be possible, we will try to develop uh, even active article, for example, for the uh, uh, to for pollution uh, treatment uh, uh, to to improve the air quality but the um, the difficult thing is, is to to connect the research with the uh, technology that we have uh, inside our okay. companies so uh, but we uh, f first of all we, we have to to make uh, a, a research of the possibility of, of applications because uh, we are not a big company, we are, uh, we are 88 mm -hmm. employers, so uh, we have a machinery that every day uh, have, have to work. Have to work. Uh, so you it's a very efficient. fascinating uh, uh, issue, this one, but uh, uh, we, uh, we are struggling so with to, reality. Yeah. <laughs> to every day <laughs> yes, battle. But, yeah. yes. yes, thank you very much. Some other questions, please? Yes, Enrico? Yes, wait for the microphone. Although you have very strong virus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, my question is, of course, uh, to Sara and Roberto, because um, when you uh, look at their presentation, you say, wow, this is uh, ideal. Uh, these uh, solutions should be already on the market, and uh, they, there is no need to push them on the market because uh, they solve some uh, very critical problems in the building sector. For instance, uh, this morning we have seen uh, uh, many examples uh, regarding safety, etc. So, uh, <coughs> insulation also issues, uh, but uh, th uh, there are some problems for SMEs that want to that want to push their products into the market because, of course, the market uh, is organized uh, in uh, a not uh, very friendly way for SMEs because there are multinationals that are controlling the market and uh, are uh, uh, dominating uh, it with their solutions. So uh, <coughs> I think that there are uh, some ways today, thanks also to the technology, that can help SMEs to be more present on the market, or at least in some segments of the market. But still, we don't have a solution. And so uh, this kind of events also should be addressed to see what we can do for SMEs to be more successful because this is this is a real issue because uh, okay we can propose many many solutions many technologies uh, we can combine smart textiles with the safety technologies etc but still the the most important uh, uh, hot topic for the companies for SMEs is how can I get to the market? I don't know if you want to comment. This was just a comment from my side more than a question, but I think it's very relevant to say that they struggle every day with this kind of problems. I mean, uh, the SMEs. And maybe, Mr. Lidao, is, your example is uh, very fascinating because <coughs> you have uh, found a different path into the market to get to uh, a very promising uh, 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 horizon uh, where you have exported abroad your solution and it looks to be very successful. So as a business model it's very interesting, it can be benchmarked with the other business models. Yes, there is another question, please. Just to uh, Roberto, answer yes, him, yes, please. Uh, yes, please. Uh, what, uh, um, Venturini says is uh, absolutely right. Uh, the, pro the product that we have uh, developed uh, is uh, now becoming uh, a, a product used by the market, but uh, it, it is uh, very difficult when you have a new product uh, to make your own path to the market. Uh, 
um, especially the building industry in, uh, in Italy, because that is the, the, the market I know better, is uh, controlled by three, four big uh, companies. Uh, and uh, any new product which uh, can uh, change uh, the balance uh, they have got uh, is, uh, 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 must be really more than perfect to be accepted. And uh, it is, uh, even though it's very difficult to find the, the way uh, to, the, to the sale. Uh, unfortunately, this is true. Yeah, but uh, Roberto, I don't understand because we have similar project, uh, pro problems like the uh, United States. Also, in the United States, there are very big companies that they control the market. But still, there, there is uh, more opportunities for small companies to make patents, to, to, to try to... I mean, is something wrong with us? <laughs> definitely, we have to find it out. I mean, the, definitely the, the European consumer is more skeptical to, to buy something really fancy, something. Definitely, this is uh, it's our civilization. It's com it's comparable, it's not the same. But uh, in, in a business point of view, we have to find a solution. You have a huge experience uh, in this area. Uh, and this is something that uh, really, I think, I, we couldn't uh, find a solution. I mean, also in my lab, I have 100 uh, prototypes, uh, make uh, research and so on. No, no, no one of these uh, went to the market. I mean, I, I found difficulties to find inventors. Uh, always they want really a product to put in the market, but this is not. It's, it's, it's just pure a prototype. In order to put it in the production line, needs a lot of money. And most of us, not they don't want it, but they can't. As uh, Sarah said, they, they can't really invest in this money. If I can make a, a little example, for example, you, you saw our insulation line, we have hemp fiber, for example, mm -hmm. textile waste is for insulation, and uh, um, wool, uh, mm, wool, for sheep wool insulation and polyester. For all these four articles, we have to uh, certificate the products according to European standards, and mm. they have a cost. So I can, uh, we, we tried also to make uh, insulation with other fibers, but uh, for example, for an insulation to go to the market, you have uh, to find, uh, to, um, to make standards uh, for uh, reaction to fire. Mm -hmm. you, uh, you must demonstrate the durability because the building uh, lasts uh, 50 years, uh, almost, for example. <coughs> you have to demonstrate the uh, sound absorption rate. You have to demonstrate the conductivity the, the breathability. So it's mm, very expensive for a medium uh, company to make these, and maybe uh, some fibers or one article is very good for uh, um, insulation, but uh, has no a good uh, um, reaction to fire rate, mm -hmm. or can be attacked uh, by insects or molds. So yeah. it's a very big, um, uh, character, mm. very big quantity of characteristics no. that you have to guarantee for almost 50 years. So uh, it's not so, so easy to oh, win not, in the market of, I, I'm speaking of what, what I know, so mm. uh, building insulation or... So I'm sorry that I have to shrink it because of the time. We cannot buy time. So thank you very much for all of you for your uh, presentation and for your presence here. Uh, thank you.